Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. We have a whole lot of goodies today to go through and to look at. I'm hoping a ton of inspiration. Um, you will hear a fan, probably hear it, <laughs> on in the background. I apologize for the noise, but it gets too hot in this back room. So that's why I have that on, so I can maintain a pleasant disposition while filming. So um, we have challenge journals, June challenge journals that we're working on. So we have some from Yesenia and some from Brenda. I also have a few supplies from myself, my mother-in-law, and then above par crafts. So I'll let you know where you can find everything in the shop. Let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the supplies from Above Par Crafts. Um, these are, uh, Above Par Crafts has sent me like three or four big boxes of supplies. She used to have a shop and um, now she's selling them through me and that's really exciting. I love what she finds and so I just kind of pick from the box every, you know, so often to add a few more things to the shop. So here is a set of vintage books. The Three Bears and the Gingerbread Boy. Um, so definitely fun for journals. And then you can reuse those adorable little covers. So there's that. And then uh, three sets of these 1977, I guess I'm calling them flashcards for lack of a better word. Let me see if I can get into here so I can show you. Aren't these neat? There's a whole bunch of them. So you will get a random uh, pack, but they have information on the back. These are excellent journal cards. I love these for a journal card um, size. Because, actually, let me see this. Double Duty Beauties, Showstoppers, and the Nostalgic Ferns. I might, are these all ferns? That's what I'm wondering. No, they're not all ferns. So they're just a... Uh, it's just an extra card. So you will just get a random pack of these 1977 plant identification cards. These are really neat. Um, these are from Canada and they haven't been used. They're new and they're little dog cards that come with envelopes. They're really neat. Aren't those pretty? Really pretty. So there's those. Um, there's some time cards. I don't know that I've had these for sale, at least not for a long time in my shop. So it's really great that we get those again, sets of time cards. I thought this was really neat. Um, she obviously found this somewhere. This is Native American rock art, a petroglyph, petroglyph stamp kit for all ages. And, um, I think this one stamp does not have a wood block here maybe, but these do. Isn't that neat? Look at all these. So if you were doing like a Native American journal, how beautiful would all these stamps be in that journal? They're beautiful. And then in here is a little booklet on it. And so of course, uh, it tells you about the different symbols and about the different things about it. And then you could reuse these pages in a journal as well. So I thought that was a really cool kit and I'm excited to offer that to all of you. So those are her supplies. Um, my mother-in-law has done a few more beaded dangles, so you can find, oh, you can find the ones I just showed you in the marketplace supply section. These would be in, um, Connie's handmade goodies and just some really pretty beaded dangles that you can use on the sides of your journals. So this is yellow and blue dangles. And then there's, well, I thought there was another set. Yes, there's, uh, dusty rose and black as well. Really pretty, which you can, you can use. And then she did some crocheting. These are gorgeous. Look at these. Look at how big that one is. Isn't that beautiful? And then a couple smaller ones. Makes a little set. You can use these. This is a cream color. They look really great in your journals. So those are in Connie's Handmade Goodies. I have a few supplies here, and I did mention in the other video, I will be listing some of my supplies and probably some of Connie's as well. In between my videos, you'll find it either popped up on Facebook or Instagram, a little bit about it and a link to it. So I have done that. Um, I've added some hand-painted ribbons, and I've added some journal cards that way, but I'm also will show some in videos as well. So this is a goodie bag. This is 50 pieces of ephemera, and I like putting these together with uh, scraps, but they're just like little tags and tickets and little collages 
and um, ephemera, torn edge ephemera, snippets, uh, stamped images. These are all mushrooms, a little frame, more collaging, a little pocket, more collaging, glittered tag, little cut aparts, punch outs, die cuts, just so many different things in so many different styles and papers glittered, We've got vintage birds, we have um, vintage florals, uh, vintage book page punch outs, negative punches, wallpaper tags, textured cardstock tags, book page cutouts, ephemera, so many little things. And they're just all put together, ready to stick into your journals, just a wide variety of goodies. There's 50 pieces in there. Um, they're all like styles and things left over from my projects or just scraps that I have. And then I have some playing cards. I have a few sets of these uh, bouquets, these vases that have these gorgeous flowers. So there's 10 in each set, and I think I have five sets. One, two, three, four, five. So those will be in Lindsay's supplies. And then I have this little girl set as well. And I have one, two, three, four, five sets of her as well. Um, I have this little vintage flower tag set and I used one of those stitch dies um, and my die cutting machine and then these are some vintage florals from I think these are from vintage image club you can get that in the huge sales section of my website but there's a whole bunch of them they're all die cut out as these little tags and then some little green jute twine up at the top of them they're printed on ivory 110 pound cardstock so they're ready to go into your nature journals and then I found these little sticker books, and I really thought one of you would like them. I have Little Book of Cat Stickers and Little Book of Dog Stickers. Um, I thought they were so cute. So there's pages of stickers. This is all cat-themed. And there are, like, some repeat sheets. But if you are making cat journals or you want a gift or something like that, I have a cat one, and I picked up a dog one. Uh, I just thought they were so cute and that somebody would want them for their paper crafting. So I have one of each of those. All right, let's get into these journals. We are gonna start off with some journals from Brenda. These are challenge journals. All right, not all of them. I think there's one challenge journal and then some regular journals. Let me see, I think this is a regular one. This is called My Fair Garden. Um, she's used my digital kit, My Fair Garden, and some other ones as well. Yeah, this is not a challenge journal, but oh wow, that's pretty. So it's just a cardstock cover. This is an image from My Fair Garden, and so is this. That's one of my digitals. Just, yeah, like I said, a cardstock cover, and then there's some, what is this, just papers? Like little cut-off papers that you can use. You could even use that as a card. I love double-sided cardstock. I always think it's so pretty what they put together. I don't have much room. Let me see if I can move a couple of these journals. Get in frame for you guys to do a quick flip through. So she's used My Fair Garden. It looks like maybe Plant a Garden as well. Um, just really pretty florals. Garden, a little bit of lace sewn on there. This is really perfect for somebody wanting to start off with a pretty journal at a at a um, entry level price point, and then you can go ahead and fill it up with your photos and your memories and all of that. So this is my fair garden. You can find all of the journals in the marketplace section of the website. I love the blue and the orange on the cover. What a beautiful paper, so pretty. So that one. And then this is, feels like it's a wallpaper cover. This image is from Feathered Friends. It's one of my first kits. Let me see if that's what this is. Feathered Friends, yes. Yeah, so she used Feathered Friends. And that's this little uh, kit here. And then she's added, these are Ink Saver. These are mine. They're called Ink, ink Saver Outdoor Birds. And it just prints a little in the corner. It saves a lot of ink just little bits and pieces that you can start off. Oh, I love that music page. Just a simple little bird journal, lots of white. That is a great option for adding your favorite stencils and inks, some really nice big pockets. So it's wallpaper lined with coffee dyed paper, giant pockets. You can stuff so much in them. And it's just a little seam binding closure that slips on and the little birds stick out as a tab. 
This one she sent as well. This is Ride With Me. Oh, and in case anybody's getting confused while I'm, why I am saying these are regular marketplace journals, but Brenda was not the next one on the list, it's because um, it was a challenge box. There's a challenge journal, and she tucked a few other journals in um, to save on postage, so it's easier for me to just show them with the challenge journal than to add it to a list, so that is why. So this is um, my kit ride with me. It's a vintage bicycle kit, but I love how she added the more modern whimsical fabric on the spine. I think that's really pretty. And um, yep, so she's used uh, ride with me. And so she's used elements from the kit ride with me. And then some, I think that's an actual vintage photo. Pretty little, I love vintage bicycles. So it's really cute how she did all this and set it up. Perfect way to get started. It looks like we have a pocket or, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. All that postal. Got stenciling. Just a, like I said, an intro journal. Some little cutoffs there that you can use. I like how she put this um, little girl here and the little boy there. They're both ephemera pieces from the kit, but they look really good on the pockets front and back. It is reinforced fabric on the inside and the outside. That means you can open and close it many times without worrying about that spine falling apart. So that's Ride With Me. Here's a little one she made. It says, as free as the ocean. It's just a water card stock. A water, not water, but like an ocean sea cardstock. Um, this is called Ocean Music. So she's used my kit, Ocean Music, which is this one. And that's these octopus. It's mostly octopus and seahorses. Those are the main creatures that are highlighted in this kit. I also have a kit called Sand and Sea that highlights more seashells and turtles and fish. So they go really well together as well. But again, just a sweet and simple little journal, uh, perfect for maybe finishing up the summer in. And the cover gives you a lot to work with. You could glue on little seashells or um, collage it up with some, I have a ephemera pack called Washed Ashore. You could do collaged up little ocean pictures on the front as well if you wished. Uh, this one is hers as well. It says Bloom on the front. I think this is gorgeous. I don't know. Okay, I think it's a cardstock piece, like one of those um, cardstock pages. I'm not sure. Music Blooms. So she's used my kit, Music Blooms. Again, it's fabric reinforced outside and inside. This kit is Music Blooms, and it's music and pansy themed. So you have like the music notes and the pansies, lots of purples, and then vintage images of ladies playing um, instruments. So that's that kit, and she's used that throughout. And she has some really pretty and subtle find inspiration everywhere. That's my three by five um, on my desk card. It's called on my desk. Oh, she made a little booklet. Really cute. Paula Lemon makes a lot of little booklets. I haven't um, watched too many of her videos recently, but I was watching one the other day. She used to put a video out almost every day and I used to watch them all. So when there is a video now and I have a chance to watch it, I get really excited and I was watching her bee themed journals and she was showing little booklets and I was like, that's right. She does all these little booklets. And you know, sometimes there's things that we know and we just forget about trying like the little booklets. So that's always fun. And then this is a black seam binding closure, which looks really neat with the colors on the cover. Um, she also did a baby boy and a baby girl journal. So here's the baby boy one. It says our boy. So if you know someone who's having a baby, this would be a really sweet um, little one. And she's put in all sorts of items and pages and fabrics and tabs. This would be so perfect. I love how she's, look at that little shaker card. She's left um, perfect amounts of space for you to document. Like this says seven months. I think it actually has all the months in here. My first haircut. Yep, eight months. She has the months in here. So you have pictures of that. Vintage book pages and songs. Vintage greeting cards. Look at the little sheep on the um, paper clip. So that is a boy journal. 
and then she has a girl one that coordinates. It would be really cute if there were twins, a boy and a girl. I have a friend who has a boy and a girl twins, but I know that doesn't happen that often. So this one says our girl and it's pretty much the same, just pink themed. So I'll just show a couple highlights, but it has the same uh, type papers, just really pretty, slightly more pink than the other one. So a little girl one as well. Little boy, a little girl. So cute. So finally we get to the challenge journal. <clears throat> this is the challenge journal she made. Look at how pretty that is. The fabric. We have the three fabric yo-yos, the little purple closure. So this one is Wisteria and Roses. Um, hand pieced quilted cover with back pocket. All right, back pocket. Right back here. Okay, we'll look at that when we get to the end. It's nice and soft. So she's used Wisteria and Roses, Celtic postcards, and Joanne's Celtic Rose paper. Also some Stamperia scrapbook paper, a few other um, digitals as well. Some Kool-Aid coffee dyed paper and other things like that. So look at how pretty. Very pretty and gardeny, lush gardeny. I love how the Wisteria Roses and Hydrangea all just, I don't know if she used the Hydrangea, I don't think she used the Hydrangea kit, but some of the other challenge journals did. So this is the Celtic Roses paper pack. Get the little cool, I think she used Kool-Aid, she said on some of these pages. This looks like it's the back of a calendar page, really neat, of a textured inked page. Beautiful stenciling. She really shows off here how you can um, creatively put something on blank pages. She did a lot of that. And then there's a little pocket here and some ephemera tucked in that. So it's a very plush, soft journal. Very sweet. You could put your favorite vintage buttons if you wanted in the middle of the yo-yos to kind of make it your own if you wanted. And then she gave me a little gift, which is really sweet. She made me a little ephemera folder. And you all know how much I love ephemera folders. And there's little pockets, clear pockets all in here that I can tuck like pieces of ephemera in. So thank you. I will definitely use that, Brenda. I appreciate it. Um, so set that aside so I can use that. Now we're going to look at Yesenia's journals. And these are technically challenge journals. I say this very kindly that they don't actually qualify at, I mean, they're beautiful <laughs> as challenge journals because they barely use the digital. So I can, I'm saying that nicely. I'm showing them and I will do a, um, normally I do a 70% commission. I'm only going to do a 65% commission for this because, uh, you really can't tell there. I mean, there's only like, that's a challenge one. Um, uh, that's a, a paper, but like, as you go through them, most of the items don't have anything to do with the, um, challenge like a few of them do and that's okay that you add other things to it but you should be able to tell it's a challenge journal and there's just a few pages put in in there and then like the whole cover is bo uh, bohemian boho this is from a different challenge it's not wisteria or roses it doesn't go with those colors at all so instead of putting it as a pure challenge journal or as a pure um regular marketplace journal i'm kind of doing a hybrid and then i've sent her an email and i'm saying this as a reminder to everybody when you're doing challenge journals they should highlight and showcase the digitals that i selected they do not have to be 100 percent those digitals but you should be able to easily tell by flipping through it that you've used those digitals but these are still for sale and they're still gorgeous so there's this gorgeous lady. And then these are like um, lap books. So beautiful fabrics, uh, very kind of boho. And then they open up and there's um, a little pocket full of, I'm guessing, goodies in here. I can't get to it at my angle. And then there's some little um, notebooks here, some little coin envelopes. This flips. Um ephemera tucked in. I don't know how well you can see it's too wide. And there's a second little notebook over here. So you'll have to look at pictures maybe to see the full effect. But here's another one. And again, it flips open and there's um, a little notebook right here. Another little, there's little flips and tucks 
and another little um, notebook over here. Fabric reinforced, so it's, it's like a lap book. Really pretty. I'm running out of room like I usually do, so let me see what I can move out of the way. So she went with a very uh, boho theme, it seems, overall. She's used other of my kits and tags and and goodies, so there's little um, journals here. And then that opens, that opens, you can see. And then there's another, it's like made from a big paper bag. There's another little Bohemian notebook here in the back, just like so, back there, tucked in. And then this one here, it's ABC Garden. So she's used the book and then just put in various pages. It's just an eclectic journal. That's a cute book that you can kind of turn into a glue book or make your own. And then there's the Care Bunny. Again, using some of the story, some of the digitals, just kind of all put in there. And then there's a little like mini, almost not quite, it's more of a slimline journal. Like, you know, the slimline cards, it's kind of a slimline journal, just like that. I am seeing Let's see, 98 pages. I wonder what the size of that is. That is really neat. Four by eight. So that's cool. And then here's a little vintage lady one. Cute little, there's a little notebook slipped in here with various pages. And then a whole bunch of papers. And then this one here. This is the last one. Just coffee dyed pages, eclectic papers, just ghosted butterflies, and all of that. I think I think what I've decided to do is go ahead and give her the 70%. I was thinking 65%. Um, I have looked through and I do see several of the pages. It's not really themed that way, but I'll just kind of leave that up as a very friendly warning to everybody. I'll do the 70% this time, but just kind of take this as a warning. If it's not themed um, with the digitals, then um, it, it'll go as a regular marketplace journal and that will be up to my discretion. But since I didn't really say that before, I wanna be fair to everybody and her journals are beautiful. I really do like them. I think that they're very usable and very fun. So I'll just clarify that slightly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the goodies and maybe it gave you a little bit of inspiration. Um, I really enjoyed looking at everything from everybody. And don't forget to um, subscribe, like this video, and I will see all of you in the next video.